Hey YouTube, it's Kakuda. It's a 2001 Yamaha V-Star 1100 Classic Silverado Edition Silverado has the windshield. My windshield has been removed. This is the windshield bracket. The windshield was removed because the previous owner said the windshield was too tall. So he took it off and I didn't get it with the bike, but I have the saddlebags and the extra seat. Uh, get them in a box. But, uh, I'm doing a clutch, starter clutch. And I'll show you what's going on with the bike. Now I've worked on the bike and uh, I tore it all apart. And uh, first, let me just show you what it's doing. Turn the bike on. It's only got 6,000 miles on it. And this is what the bike does. That was a fuel pump you heard. You can hear the starter is just spinning. It's not engaging to the motor. I got the covers off, the covers are right here. I just did an oil change on it and everything. I just put this bike back together and it's still not turning over. Got a couple four wheelers riding by. So anyways, I get the cover off. I gotta take this platform off with the foot controls and all this stuff back off. So I was gonna kinda kinda walk you through the process. It's a couple four wheelers riding down the street. Right here, you put a five millimeter Allen key. Um, this is the Allen key that came with the motorcycle, and a lot of the tools to do this job are right in with the bag that the, the for the motorcycle. Uh, this little bucket right here has assortment of tools that I needed to do the job, so it's going to be pretty quick. I'm only going to end up taking this side cover off again and putting the updated serve. Uh, updated parts that in there that I bought off of eBay uh, the updated um, starter clutch dampener and uh, updated uh, starter clutch uh, itself the one-way clutch system with the um, all the new bearings and stuff like that so I uh, just wanted to kind of do a more of a step-by-step -step video because I was staying away from the step-by-step -step, but I'm going to turn around and just loosen this one this one bolt and take the seat off and then uh, I'll show you what else I have to do so I'm going to pause this and continue okay I took that seat off using that five millim five millimeter uh, Allen key I put the bolt right back in here so I wouldn't lose it next I got to lift up this little plastic uh, clip and uh, I gotta take these two 14 millimeter bolts out so I'm gonna get my tools take these two 14 millimeter bolts out underneath there's a white clip that white clip right there I unplug that that's for the speedometer and then down here I have to release that fuel line off the petcock and the fuel tank tank will lift up and pull back and come right off the motorcycle. Uh, it's connected up here on these rubber grommets and you just pull it right off so I'll do that and I'll come right back to you. Okay I think I just referred to these bolts as being 14 millimeter they're actually 12 millimeter. I want to clear that up before I go any further. I put them back in here so I don't lose them or I don't have a big bucket full of bolts trying to figure out where they go that's where they go same with this thing I'll put it right back there we know where it goes all right I throw uh, go to the next step and I had to put this phone on the charger so I'll be back 